tonight in a bloodbath over Joel Casey. We move on to the middleweight division again, 18 minutes. Is the journey Michael Herman? Three fights, two wins, one via way of knockout. Interesting record for Dwight Ritchie that we will explain over the course of the fight, but seven fights, three wins, and four of them have been ruled a no contest. Looking at the maths, that matter, 10 years, separates the two young men with Ritchie four centimetres in height, but amazingly, 17 centimetres in reach. Difference on the scales, not a great deal, but enough to move this from junior to the middleweight division. 18 minutes the journey. And Howard Lee, it's time to get the boys out. <laughs> it certainly is. When you welcome in the blue corner in the six rounds of interstate middleweight boxing from Adelaide, South Australia, Michael the Hammer Herman. And here we go for the hundred time. Hand grenade pins in every line. Throw them up and let some shine. Going out of my fucking mind. Find a new place to hang this noose String me up from the top of these roofs Light a tight so I won't get loose Tilt as you can stop and stare Throw myself out and no one cares Cut the trench out, lay down there With a shovel up out of reach somewhere Yeah, someone pull it in Make it a dirt gas floor again Say it this and stop it out When they bring that chorus in I bleed it out, dig it deeper Just to throw it away I bleed it out, dig it deeper Just to throw it away I bleed it out, dig it deeper Just to throw it away Just to throw it away Would you welcome in the red corner, the fighting cowboy from Victoria's Goulburn Valley, Dwight Ritchie. He's coming to set a ring with Richmond Tigers, tough man Jake King. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Six rounds of interstate middleweight boxing under Brian Armatruda, Barry Michael, Simmons Holmes. Fight spectacular at the Melbourne Pavilion. Would you welcome in the blue corner from Kidman Park, South Australia? Corner team Rod Davis and Ricky Elliott. He was a two time South Australian amateur welterweight champion in professional boxing. Three bouts, two wins, one loss, one by knockout at 70.2. Zero kilograms, black trunks with white trim. Would you welcome Adelaide's Michael, the Hammer Herman. And across the ring, the red corner with Jake King joining David Hegarty from Shepparton in Victoria's Goulburn Valley. Var Hoppers Crossing in Melbourne's West from Team Destruction, formerly held Victorian middleweight championship in professional boxing, a perfect three out of three. But in reality, due to a technicality, it's really seven out of seven. At 69.65 kilograms, ladies and gentlemen, they call him the Fighting Cowboy, Dwight Ritchie. Bring red tracks with white trim. Referee Malcolm Bulner, Tony Moretta, Samantha Bulner, Dale Westerman. Malcolm, have you cleaned yourself up? You have. <laughs> Dwight, Michael. Welcome to Centering, gentlemen. Let's have a good, clean fight and obey my instructions all the time. May the best man win. Come on, fighting other belts. Go back to your corners now. Shake hands, both of you. Shake hands. Good luck. Dwight Ritchie. Three fights, three wins. In reality, as Howard said, seven fights, seven wins. Four were made no contest because the Victorian the Boxing Doctor. Board of Control Doctor. found out that this young man was under the legal limit of 18 years of age Brian, for his first four fights. So Brian. officially the records were Brian. taken away. Brian, you ready? The fighting cowboy, Dwight Ritchie. Last fight. Eight rounder with Big Bad Leroy Brown in what was a war. In the black and white trunks. It is Michael Herman from Kidman Park in South Australia. Dwight Ritchie is in the red and white. Changing levels nicely, doubling the left hand. He's got the real baby face about him, Dwight Ritchie. 
Don't be fooled. A short Oscar De La Hoya style trunks. Red and white for Hawaii Richie. He's a big junior middleweight, isn't he? Fighting at middle tonight, as we said. Herman cutting off the ring nice. That's Herman in the black and white. Really been looking forward to having a look at Dwight Richards. Been big raps on him early on. Oh, as he takes some good shots there from Herman. He's walked into two big shots there and a wild swing from Michael Herman. Fourth fight for Herman. He's already fought in three different states as a professional. I like his balance of Michael Herman. He really sits down nice and tidy. Very even. Just creating a little bit of space for himself there, Dwight Ritchie. Doubling up with the left hand, pushing forward. Forcing Herman to move back and right. As we have a look at the contrast in, in the, the balance and footwork of both fighters. And Herman's balanced down more on the back foot and Dwight Ritchie more on the front foot. On the front foot, on the toes. There for mine, if I look at that, I, I see Dwight Ritchie may lose a little bit of power, may reach a little bit more and, and tip forward a little bit. However, he's going to be able to move side to side a little easier than perhaps what Michael Herman's being flat-footed will. He'll have a bit more speed around the ring, will Dwight Ritchie. Good fast hands from Ritchie. Oh, right hand from Ritchie, taken well by uh, Herman. Almost an old school stance, isn't it, from Dwight Ritchie with the hands almost one in front of the other? It really is, even from his feet to the to his hands up the top. Very old school. Trunks included. Pushes across to his left. Cut off nicely by Herman in the final seconds of the opening round. Is this a more genuine feeling out process as opposed to what we've seen in our first two fights of the evening? Could be enough to tip the round two. One of the best right uppercuts you will see. Let's have a look at the opening round. And as we said, it was a feeling out process until this. Dwight Ritchie with the right uppercut. Look at it, flash on the chin of Herman. A nice little fake with the left hand as he stepped in with that left foot. I think referee Malcolm Bourne is saying no knockdown. Round number two at middleweight under 73 kilograms the limit Michael Herman in the black and white Dwight Ritchie in the red and white Herman down final second of that opening round semi and main event still to come Blake Caparello Robert Berridge Australia versus New Zealand is next neither man has been beaten before and our main event tonight for the IBO Super Featherweight Championship of the World, Wild Will Tomlinson in title defence number one against the tough Mexican Daniel Ruiz. Look at the way Dwight Ritchie tucks that chin into his shoulder. Very clever for a man so young. Ritchie backs out of there. And again, as he did in the opening round, Michael Herman, despite the fact it is just pro fight number four looks to carry himself with far more experience very good at cutting off blocking off the ring yeah he knows what he's doing the way the way he's moving around the ring last fought in march of this year a six round points victory over ben caps
Circling around to his right and then changing direction is Richie. Impressed with the composure of this young man so far. Yeah, myself as well. Very composed young man. 17 centimetre reach advantage to the man in red and white trunks. I think Her Herman's got to give him a bit more to look at. He's got to put that jab out a little bit more. Even if it's not there to score, exactly like that. But that backed up uh, Dwight Ritchie, made him reset. Instead of just sitting there and letting Ritchie tee off, although not much is getting through, but still Ritchie seems to be working his way wherever he wants to. That's good work from Herman. It was a real rush, wasn't it, from Michael Herman. Exploded middle of the ring with hands and feet pushing his opponent back into the corner. But it took Richie out of his comfort zone. Absolutely. Richie looking for that right up oh, the cut oh, hurt bad. And Herman is struggling. He's dizzy. Somehow he's standing, but for how much longer, I don't know. Bring up, bring up. Okay. Box. I think you'll find Richie caught him on the temple once again. Herman back to the ropes. Richie looking for the one big bomb. Herman fights out. Oh, what a rough and tumble round. Come on. Oakley's having a real crack late. Half time of the AFL Collins, 52 leads along 41. It's only catching you because you hesitated. Okay? He doesn't like the pressure, Michael. Do you hear me, son? Okay? When you hesitate, he goes. Okay? We have a look at the low blow from Richie. Let's a barrage go on Herman, who fires back. Credit to him. Oh, boys, just wailing away at the end of the round. Dwight Ritchie previously lived and trained with Keith Ellis. This is his first fight with new trainer Dave Hegarty. Good young prospect. His father Darcy was the main event fighter. Generation gone by. Very confident young kid. I saw him walk back to the corner and give the ring card girls a little nod and a little hello. You don't see that too often in, in the professional ranks. Very confident. Wins over Leroy Brown, Benny Costello. Two big names to have victories over the embryo stages of his career. This guy brings a lot of things so different that we're used to seeing in this day and age, but he's so effective, Dwight Ritchie. Really pushes out that stiff jab, doesn't he? It's like he's got five different men inside him, five different personalities, depending which, which way he wants to box. A real credit to him at such a young age. Only nine amateur fights. And still very much learning his craft, only 20 years of age, as we said. Two punch combination from Richie, fighting cowboy. There is a lineup of junior middleweights and middleweights around Australia that many would like to see Dwight in with over the course of the next couple of years as his and their careers mature. Well, if I'm a fight fan, and it, it probably won't happen early on in their career, but I tell you what, Rocky Jerky versus Dwight Ritchie, mouthwatering. Trying to utilise that seven centimetres in reach. Throwing the punch, not moving the feet, and as a result, he was in a vulnerable position. Final minute of round number three. That's what I was talking about with Herman. 
You see Richie just pops that jab out, nothing on it, but he just keeps giving Herman something to look at the whole time. Then he'll change his height, change his distance, pop the jab, and that's what you want to see. Then you'll be able to get those shots off. Your opponent really struggles with what, what, what he's got to do himself then. 20 seconds to go in the round. We said this was originally scheduled as a junior middleweight contest, but weighing just over was Michael Herman at 70.2 kilos, Dwight at 69.65, 0.2 of a kilo under the limit. Again, that right uppercut of Dwight Ritchie is a punch of note. So we can establish at this point in his career and at the tender age of 20, Dwight Ritchie is a genuine junior middleweight competitor. So let's take a look now at the junior middleweight rankings as they stand in Australia at the moment. And Tyrone Tongia is on top of the heap. Frank Laporta, Yao Yi Ma, Daniel Dawson, James Giltrow, Pat Rulo, and Craig Hill Jr. They are your Super 7. 69.85 kilos. Seconds out as we approach round four. We move into second half of the fight middleweight round at number four four of six of course our main event is for the ibo world title in the super featherweight division we've previously had four world champions at 130 pounds Gary Sinclair, Robbie Peden, Lester Ellis and Barry Michael and the, the two Victorians are both here in the building, Lester and Bar Barry. And of course, famously fought in the southern capital. Better keep them away, in the 80s. Keep them apart from each other tonight. One down, two remain in the fourth round. Dominant punching, dominant movement from Dwight Ritchie in the red and white. The aggression of Michael Herman has to be admired. He's still there, he's still trying. He, he can't keep up at the moment with the speed of Dwight Ritchie, but that's exactly what he's got to do. Go in behind the jab and look for that right hand to go over the top. Trying to establish that left hand as Ritchie here in round number four. Punches in bunches for both. Isn't he relaxed for a 20-year-old Dwight Ritchie? Extremely. Most AFL footy clubs represented here tonight. There's some State of Origin superstars in the crowd as well. Of course, State of Origin 1 next Wednesday night down here at Eddie Hand Stadium. Who are you back in, Andy? Let's talk boxing. As a New South Welshman, it's been a difficult six years. You are living in Queensland now, though. Yeah. Back to the action in the ring. 45 seconds remaining in the round. Ritchie back on the jab. Nice movement from Dwight Ritchie. Doubled up the left and then yep. went to go straight with the right hand. A great success in round number two. Through two uppercuts, scored on both occasions, did Dwight Ritchie. Yeah, good work. Good work from Michael Herman. That's where he needs to keep Ritchie. Crossover defence here from oh. Dwight Ritchie, who sees the punches, catches the punches, and then throws an uppercut right in the middle of it. Welcome to players from New South Wales in Queensland. In Melbourne, the state of origin next Wednesday night. Good luck, guys. 
Patty, gotta listen to me. Got me. Take a big deep breath. Think of all the training we do. I need you to put pressure on them. Okay? Pressure, pressure, pressure. Not a backward step point. We have a look at the action from round number four. What's the crossover defense from Dwight Ritchie? And the counter shots coming through. Oh, look at that. Class work from Dwight Ritchie. You gotta go out there and you have to take this. Okay? You gotta take this fight, mate. Okay? Go and get it! And here's the second half, round five. Round number five coming your way. And what has been another great year of Aussie boxing. Nice work from Richie. Nothing on it, but making Herman have a look and see what's standing in front of him. As Herman tries to back Richie up again. Done a very good job of crowding Dwight Richie, limiting his space. And if not limiting his space, making Richie really fight for his space. That's right, yeah. Making him work for it. Two guys standing there. Eyes locked on one another. Just waiting for the first to throw. A lot of the time you get the impression Herman is happy to play the countering role, but that also appears to be when White Ritchie has had his best. Oh, both boys having success with the left hook. That's right, Dwight Ritchie shows, like I said, it's, it's like he's got a few different men in that body. He can box on the inside, box on the outside, cross over the fence, roll the shoulder, a little bit of everything. Former Victorian middleweight champion. Oh. Richie, bomb there. Good Richie, shot from Herman. Yeah, Richie went for the uppercut, but it was the, the overhand right from Herman. His best punch of the fight. Keeping them straight, keeping them neat, which is equally as important, is Richie. Still up on his toes, bouncing around the middle portion of the ring. Well balanced young athlete, isn't he? Certainly is. So we have a look at the footwork of Dwight Ritchie and something a little different. His feet are very close together and then as you look at Michael Herman, whose feet are a little bit further apart, usually gives you that better balance. But it works for Dwight, for Dwight Ritchie, so uh, why, why change it for, if it's not broken? Right on six foot is Dwight Ritchie, 183 centimetres. So again, going back to the junior middleweight division, there's a whole heap of the, this young lad. Yeah, real big light middleweight. Resetting back in the middle of the ring. Goes to the body on his initial shot in the final 30 seconds of round number five. using single jabs here as Richie had the idea of going straight to the body you got the feeling that Michael Herman knew exactly what was coming <laughs> that's round five some words here between boxer and trainer look at me, look at me. listen to me listen to me we need a big round Check out the action from round number five. And it was Richie going for the uppercut and Herman going for the right hand. Nice work from Michael Herman on that occasion. Second down, six and final round. Six and final round Checker. coming your way on out number three of Checker. five. Checker. A live card anyway. Three preliminaries that kicked off at 6.30 here tonight. 
victorious were Kane Watts, Brett W. Smith, and we had a majority draw. Alan J. Trinikeo and Camille Bala on debut. Doubling up with the left hand, Richie, first high, second low. Up next, Blake Caparello and Robert Berridge, both undefeated fighters in our semi-main event at light heavyweight. Our main event, super featherweight for the IBO title, Daniel Ruiz from Mexico, the challenger, Will Tomlinson from Australia, the champion. Yeah, a couple of real good battles coming up. Dwight Ritchie showing his skills again as he gets chopped with the right hook from Herman. Seems to spur on Richie who comes forward. Nice glove work from Richie, nice body movement, real good skills. To watch Dwight Richie is to be able to appreciate the angles that he's coming from and the fact that he's creating those angles. That's right, yep. Over the top came Herman, but very much at this point in time just throwing single shots. Probably three to one, four to one. The punches are in favour of Dwight Ritchie, who is now going head hunting and chasing Michael Herman. He now rips to the body because Herman's a little vague up high. Yeah, he certainly senses the blood and goes in for the kill, does Ritchie. But he's got to be careful. He doesn't walk into one shot of his own as uh, Herman threw his shots when he propped. He's an accumulated Dwight Ritchie, his record suggests that. Three fights, three wins, but he's gone 24 rounds, eight rounds on each occasion. Yep. Again, he's going the distance. It appears tonight against the South Australian. Good, good shots from Ritchie. As he walks down Herman. Everything comes off that jab. I love it from Dwight Ritchie. Good work from Herman. Going to the body here is Dwight. Oh. Oh, keep working, keep working, keep working. Didn't keep like working. that, Ritchie. Marches across the ring with 10 seconds remaining and both boys just let it all go. The final couple of seconds. And they end with a smile on their face and an embrace. Dwight Ritchie and Michael Herman doing their thing. The respect of boxing. And everyone's friends and that bond. It's a weird one, we understand. Yes. It's a weird one, but that bond won't be broken between these two guys as long as hanging around the industry. That's right. Good performance from Michael Herman. He was in against uh, a rising star. You could say a rising star looking at his record in Dwight Ritchie, but an established star, yeah, legitimately. You're exactly right. Rising, but a guy who's so confident in his own ability. Got every reason to be confident in his ability. Smooth skills, good head on his shoulder. Despite the fact he's he's a baby, he's 20 years of age. Let's have a look at some of the action from the sixth and final round. Great attack from Dwight Ritchie. And there's some of the success from Herman as he wails away. Ritchie comes firing back. Great way to end a great fight. Howard Lee waiting, centering. He has the numbers. Not yet. Not yet. In Not fact, yet. he doesn't. The Victorian <laughs> Board of Control doing the maths here. And the maths, they are finally in. And the Fighting Cowboy, confident of victory. Yes. Let's make it official. My word, we will. Tony Morita had it 60-55. Brian Butler, 60-52. Samantha Bullner, much closer. 58-56.
Unanimous points winner, Red Corner, the Cowboy, Dwight Ritchie. Dwight Ritchie victorious via unanimous points decision, but a real spread on the three judges' scorecards. Out